my buddy Nick Lacapo, and today we're going to take a much closer look at the Penguin Cups. I love cups and balls. As a matter of fact, this is a set that I've been using for a long time. Way back when these originally came out, I bought a set and have been using them. We have a brand new set here to show you exactly what you get and we can take a look at. These are a really nice set New of cups. cups and balls. Oh, yeah. It's like a, you know, it's a big day if you're going to get a new set of cups and balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're, I mean, if you're a cup and ball worker or you want to work cups and balls, you know, working with the aluminum cups is a really great training resource. Even the plastic empire cups are mm. great. But, man, when you step up to a really nice set of cups like the penguin Feels cups, good. like, feels really good. There's a lot of cool moves that you can do with these that you can't do with any of the others. So let's take a look at it. Because uh, they come in this nice black sort of faux leather bag. This is really durable. This is a great way to carry your cups around. This is the way I carry my cups around when I take them to gigs. Uh, then you need to get this. We're going to come back to these in a little bit more detail a little later. Uh, but this little plastic baggie is full of the actual balls. These are nice uh, red crochet knit balls. They're around like a piece of cork, I think is what it is. Uh, but these are really nice uh, for using, uh, for performing your cups and balls set with. Yeah. And then the actual cups themselves, this is really nice. I like the way that these come wrapped in tissue paper. Sure. Just because you know these aren't going to be scratched up or anything, but let's, uh, let's take a look at them. You can yeah, I might as well unwrap this here. one here. These, uh, Take these here. These Whoa. are a very nice set of copper cups. I'm not used to seeing them that shiny. No. Now the important thing to note about copper cups is that they're going to form a bit of a patina over time. So Oof. these are real shiny right I'll now. Take those. These are real shiny right now, uh, but as you continue to use these, these are going to wear in. Uh, so they're gonna they're gonna take on a nice sort of like uh, a, a nice patina over them. But man, when you get them, if you want to keep them like this, you can get some uh, some copper polish and polish them up. But these are really really nice on the outside. Uh, they don't uh, they don't have a uh, they don't follow up with the finish on the inside. But because of the way they nest together, your audience will really never see this. But they're a really nice weight. Uh, the shape of them is really nice, so you can do things like you know roll them around like that. You can even do some of these uh, like the old Vernon moves where you go. Set the cups through each other. Mm. Did you do you not use a wand in your routine? I don't use a wand in my oh, routine. Oh, interesting, because I was like, you forgot your wand, Derek. Yeah, no. no. Uh, so a lot of cup and ball workers like to use uh, a wand, uh, but others uh, do not. It's a really nice set of heavyweight solid copper cups. Comes with all of the balls that you need to perform the classic effect. Also comes with an instructional video that'll teach you how to use this. This particular set does not come with a wand, but you can either make your own or get a wand that uh, you prefer that has the qualities that you like. Uh, the other nice thing about these is that they're, uh, this is a very popular style of cup. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with the, the cups and balls, but there's a lot of different sort of design features that go in, and this particular set is based off of a very common design with the, the rolled lip here and then these two ridges, because there's a lot of different routines that people have made over the years that take advantage of the qualities in this particular cup. Yeah, same with like the, the concave top, right? Because yeah. it kind of just allows, you can be pretty, mm -hmm. you know, pretty free with throwing the ball on top of there and it's not going to roll off. And when you have multiple balls on top of a cup like this, they all sort of come together sort of toward the edge and so that when you're taking the cup on and off, it appears right there. It's, there's, there's a lot of different thinking that went into the design of these particular cups and that's why the Penguin Cups come this way is because it's a very popular design that is used in so many routines. Yeah, so it's great. I mean, they, they look amazing. You're going to be proud to put this in your show, mm -hmm. for sure. It's got all the classic features that you'd want out of a cup with the cups and balls, and you get all the, these, I like how they're like just a little bit squishy, but they also have like a hard center core yeah. uh, on the inside of these as well. So great, great set for anybody that's just starting to get into cups and balls and want to up your game a little bit. Yeah, is it, you know, working with these makes you feel like a, like a pro worker, like you're going to be out there with, with some of the greats doing this. And uh, it really is, this is a set that has lasted me for years, and I still do yeah, it. This is one of the show. first things you ever got on Penguin, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I this was this back is back in 1970. Yeah, what back, was that? <laughs> yeah, back when back way before <laughs> before the internet, but uh, in the early days. Yeah, I've worked with a Penguin set for years. Still use it in my professional shows. Yeah, it's, it's a really really great set that I'm proud to own, and uh, and I, I think you will too. Yeah, great price, great product. Check, Check it out. out.